What's going on YouTube? It's Crispy and man do I got some shit for y'all today. After this most recent patch, a lot of shit went downhill. These motherfucking devs got me out here looking goofy, man. I'm over here talking about burn still gonna be viable. That shit not, man. Look, let's not even get into that. I'm pretty sure y'all know burn is trash. But that's not why y'all here. Y'all here to figure out what is the new meta, what is the new build, how are we getting past these incursion levels. So let me stop wasting y'all time and let's get right into it. All right, and without further ado, here's the build, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. As you can see, we got the fully loaded master stack deck. You know what's up with this? 750% increased damage at max stacks. Ain't nothing changed. I got crit hit chance shield harvest chance and damage to infused enemies for my second slot i got a bane's wrath tier 2 assault rifle the ringleader i got crit hit chance crit hit damage and assault rifle crit hit damage with this firearm rolled on here not sure if y'all know but the talent that's on this gun successful critical reloads with this firearm triggers a stack of frenzy at three stacks you unleash a wave of venom frenzy that crazes all enemies within 20 meters and it can only happen once every 45 seconds we don't really care about that we mainly want the set bonus from this the tier 2 set bonus which i personally think is the best one going over this i just want to pay attention to that three piece bonus when you kill a crazed enemy or an enemy you craze kills another enemy you trigger a stack of bane's wrath this lasts for 60 seconds and increases the damage you deal by 50 percent up to a maximum of 750 percent there's a 50 percent chance to trigger bane's wrath when you craze an enemy that's below 100 percent health so that is another 750 percent damage on top of that stack deck damage that you get which is 1500 percent damage total on this build already and it gets better so moving on of course we got the master two faces persuader i got melee damage melee damage on shield harvestable enemies and melee damage to infused enemies rolled on here as you can see the talent every melee hit on a crazed enemy has a 50 percent chance to drop either a live grenade or grenade ammo at the enemy's feet this is a grenade build so we're just gonna constantly have grenades going and we have the villain synergy bonus with the bane and two face right the true face of fury harvesting enemies now has a hundred percent chance of dropping grenade ammo and also increases grenade damage by 100 percent for 20 seconds remember that grenade galore you hear me everywhere bro this build is going to slap on harley quinn i'm telling you this shit gonna go crazy and we got venom frenzy affliction rolled on here all right moving on to the grenade another tier two we got explosion radius grenade damage grenade damage to infused enemies venom frenzy affliction all right moving on over to the shield mod i have an unbreakable shield mod which is the bane tier two shield mod this is just for the set bonus again i got crit chance shield harvest chance and electrified resistance rolled on here Electrified resistance you'll see is mainly just to help with the sniping. It gets annoying. We all know that. Boom. Traversal mod, of course, best in slot. The turtle still for his conduit. The damage reduction was nerfed in the patch. So, you know, we don't really care about that. We always want this thing for the 500% additional damage, right? So we're sitting at 2000% damage, just overall damage when we get our stacks going. You know what I'm saying on this build? Stupid, man. Stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Boom. And for the last two pieces, man, I snuck in a tier one and tier three Bane set, right? Mainly for the set bonus piece, obviously. So for the neck bomb mod, I got a tier one with grenade damage to grunt enemies, grenade damage to brute enemies, and 29% damage to enemies afflicted by any affliction. The one piece set bonus for tier one, each melee hit on an enemy has a 50% chance to craze it and 50% chance to drop grenade ammo right grenade build ammo oh my goodness the amount of grenades y'all about to see on this ground is stupid and last but not least the lucky charm right we got the bane tier 3 lucky charm mod i got grenade pickup radius electrified resistance and 24 percent damage to enemies afflicted by any affliction and for the tier 3 set bonus we got you deal four percent more damage to an enemy for each one percent of their health that is missing so i'm mainly using this because when i get my stacks up right and i throw that first nade onto whoever it's gonna take about half their health right three quarters sometimes even you know so that's automatically giving me more stacks to finish them off right that last little bit of their health is going to be butter because of how much i'm stacking up for this weapon damage and it stacks in fours you know so when i automatically take a big chunk take whatever percentage i just took times it by four right that's how much damage we just got you know hey this shit slaps man moving all over to the talent tree this is my king shark talent tree i'm gonna leave this up for about five seconds let you guys get screenshots to the squad skills these are my squad skills go ahead and get your screenshots in hey man that's it that's the build if there's some pieces you think i can run differently that you know about that you feel me you can put me on game with let me know down in the comments man make sure to drop a like on the video i appreciate y'all support we going up this year we got some brute gameplay attached at the end of this you guys should definitely watch it if you want to see how this build works and how to apply everything that's involved in this build with all that being said y'all boys stay blessed it's crispy and t man and i'm up out of here